Buenos dias and welcome again to the Circuito de Jerez. It's Jerez de la Frontera in southern Spain. The Andalusian sunshine is baking around the circuit. Hello and welcome to the sixth annual Henry Surtees Foundation Team Karting Challenge. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 84th running of the greatest race in motorsport. The 24 hours of Le Mans. Be Lucas Degrassi leading the championship by one point. It's make or break time. How do you feel? Very good. When Jensen Button first appeared at Clay Pigeon Raceway, nobody had any idea that one day he'd be a Formula One world champion. Well, we're here for the fifth round of the Birrell Art UK series. And who knows, we may just spot another one today. The electrics were never going to work in the Lagonda. And once you lost that, you might as well buy something else entirely. And now we've got Alton trying to make his move around the outside of Stephen Lentz. He goes right around the outside of Paper. Oh, how on earth did he do that? Please, Please welcome, welcome Sebastian Buemi! Being the biggest race in the world, people have come from far and wide, from the worlds of Formula One, IndyCar, the biggest names, the biggest teams. This is the one that everybody who is anybody wants to win. The Aston Martin Lagonda was supposed to be taking on the Rolls Royces and the Silver Phantoms and things of this world. How badly can you swing at something and miss? Four-time world champion and senior manager of the squad, Alan Prost. Alan, great to be here and obviously the cars are going very fast here at Battersea Park this weekend. Yeah, it looks okay. Or what kinds of spare parts? Oops, that's why he's gone off there. He tried to. LMP2 cars. He tried to pick a fight with the Extreme Speed Legia. Max Chilton heading into the pits. He didn't have a great start. Jake, he dropped straight to the back of the field. Yeah, it looks to me like he's going to do exactly the same thing Carlos Munoz did. Change the spec of tyres straight away. He's gone from blacks to reds. So Max Chilton looking to try and move his way forward. There's not a lot of grip the riders are fighting, but there is speed. Uh, Chaz Davies. Oh, Chaz Davies making it very badly wrong and going down. So now we've had Jonathan Ray and Chaz Davies going down. That happened so early on into the corner. It's almost as if the brakes didn't work. Go! Great start by Lando Norris. He slices right across, but Gunter's ready for him as he switches to the other side. Lando Norris now sweeps through towards Legal for the first time. One of the great things about being here at Mercedes-Benz World is you can actually get to see the inner workings of a modern Formula One machine. That is every single component from the AMG Mercedes F1 car. Extraordinary. Carl Mosley, I think, is about to learn about Brisker F1 the hard way. Thank you very much and good night. Fairhurst takes the lead. Mosley's getting back in there, though. Fairhurst is given the cold shoulder by the new boy. Carl Mosley, you have arrived. Peter, you need to park the car, mate. You really need to park this. There's all sorts of debris and damage coming off the wheel there. That could split an oil line. Let's have a look again. Singania. That's exactly what happened. Wow. Big slide from Singania. It's a three-man brawl. Kershofer takes the lead. Kershofer takes the lead from Niederhauser. Niederhauser breaks late. Niederhauser gets the lead back again. Stoneman is on the inside line. Race two was not as perfect as race one for Citroen as pole sitter Tom Coronel hits the wall hard after making slight contact with Medi Bernardi. He bounces back across the track. Collecting Ivan Muller's Citroen. Out in front, coming up towards McCord to lap him on the last lap. Oh, he's lost it! He's lost it on the exit of Christmas! Down he goes, that's the third time this season. It's a race to go back to the actual race. i tell you what it is, it's a race between you and the Ferrari to who can repair their cars quick enough. <laughs> we'll probably clash again in the pit lane now. <laughs> I hope not, mate. I might as well just run a piano out the back. Oh, just shoving me all over the place. <laughs> This is appalling. I'm loving it though. He's now battling. Oh, big contact. dear, oh dear. Oh my goodness. That is a big shot and that is going to be a safety car at the very minimum. What is going on here at the Red Bull Ring? Sato is out now. I don't believe it. Cars are dropping out of this race left, right and centre. Cipriano out. Palmer is out. Von Grunigan is out. Giovese is out. And now Camilla Sato is out. Oh, big accident! Oh my goodness! We're gonna get a red flag here, surely, if not a safety car. That is a big one. And into the first of the two Lesmos, and off the circuit, that's one of the Momo cars! And again! I don't believe it! Ryan Cullen's gone over! What is going on here at Monza? One of the stars of this championship, second in the Monte Carlo Rally for S2000 in 2012. He was fifth overall this year at the Monte. 
and he's been in the IRC since 2008. He actually won the Monte Carlo Rally. Well, they are teammates, but uh, they want to make sure that they are the men on top of their form. There's been a lot of talk in Formula One about Hamilton and Rosberg. Oh my word, they've hit each other! Let's race and spark flag a short. Cracking start from Lucas Euler. He already draws alongside Yartain. Good start as well from Dennis Jordan, who's trying to hold off the attentions of David Fidek around the outside. Euler goes around the outside and takes the lead from Tyre. And there's a spin already in that source. That is David Francic. Meanwhile, Ross is having to keep that card very wide indeed to keep Milo Pilfold at bay. Pilfold now throws it at the inside of the left-hander. Not a lot of space. Stevens is going to do the same move on Keenly. Tomlinson is going to get past Ross as well. So Pilfod's through, Tomlinson's through. Another good start from Tim Harbour, and all three of them are going to lock together. Holden, Pipe and Harbour dancing with death around the outside comes Phil Owen, and they're going to cut across. Oh, that's a big problem for Holden. He's gone into the door. Back on board with the Hungarian. He's got Stanger right in front of him, and all three, four of these drivers will be thinking, I'm losing so much time stuck in this battle. He actually gives Stanger a little bit of a nerf there. As they go on the short stretch, oh, running out of space as he makes his way to the mountain. But Larry goes through. That was brave from Ryan Larry. The first Beetle came into the world in 1938. And yet here we are, 80 years later, and we've still got the Beetle. It's here in a new form, okay? But it's still here. And obviously, once you've got the likes of Pagano and Castroneves starting to chase down, it's going to be significant. But this man, Simon Pagano, reigning champion. And of course, don't forget, he is becoming a little bit of a mini Scott Dixon here. He's been on the podium here at Mid Ohio four times in the last five years. Let's have a look. I think he's going to arrive sideways in this shot. Whoa, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one. I could have a very, very good day at the office. Here goes nothing. Uh... Guys, I think you've, this is the wrong key, right? This is for the smart. Joey Mawson's gone into the barriers. So that shows you how tricky the circuit is. Joey Mawson from third position has lost it. Oh, that's a big shunt. And into the wall as well goes Jake Dennis. Well, Tom, it was such a tough race to win today. You really had to work hard for it, but what an incredible set of overtakes. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, it's very, very clear to me that the suspension is clearly made of digestive biscuits. Phil Kinchas, with the announcement of the 2018 road course kit being tested on Tuesday, what do you think of the 2018 IndyCar? Me, personally, I'm an absolute fan. I think it's hearkening back to the good old days of the late 80s, early 90s champ cars. And it's brilliant to see that what we're going to get is an even purer racing car than what we've already got. Oh, we're on the throttle! Ridiculously quickly! Up through the gears! That's third! We're on the brakes already! Nine in a second, through the right-hander. Shades of Gilles Villeneuve in 1979 at Zandvoort, but at least it doesn't fall off the car this time. Brings it into the pits, and I'm afraid Nikita Mazepin's race has ended up in tatters, and so too has Lando Norris! That's Lando Norris! No! <laughs> yes! Getting a warm up in the garage, a wake me up, come on, let's go, let's go guys, and uh, yeah. That's a YouTube video waiting to be made. Yeah. Well, Watley's now going the long way round, and he's going to carry the speed, he takes the lead back again! Rear parking sensors, Bluetooth with voice activation, which I won't try because I'm an idiot. Cars don't need televisions. They also definitely don't need curtains. What you're talking about there is a Japanese hotel room on wheels that you can't actually use while driving.